Hello, this is Jerry Jacobs, and welcome to Judgment Films. This weekend in Green Bay, Wisconsin, the St. Baldrick's Foundation is sponsoring their head shaving event, Sunday, March 16th, from 12 noon to 4 o'clock p.m. at St. Brendan's Inn in Green Bay, Wisconsin. The St. Baldrick's Foundation, they raise the most money for childhood cancer research, more than any other organization, second only to the federal government. So many people benefit from those donations and the shaved hair. The head shaving event coordinates with other organizations to create wigs for men, women, and children who unfortunately are losing their hair due to cancer or other illnesses. The St. Baldrick's Foundation, they team up with such organizations like Wigs for Kids, Locks of Love, Pantene Beautiful Links, and the Childhood Leukemia Foundation, just to name a few. Now last year, the St. Baldrick's Foundation raised over $34 million for childhood cancer research. Of course, this year they're hoping to exceed that amount, and so far they've received over $14 million in donations. Today, I will have the pleasure of speaking with Charlie M. in Green Bay, Wisconsin. She's participating in the event this weekend, and she's seeking some donations for this very worthy cause. Let's see if we can get her on the phone, shall we? Well, I am here with Charlie M. from Green Bay, Wisconsin. And Charlie, hi, I'm Jerry. It's so nice to meet you. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me today. And I'd, li I'd like to know how old are you and what grade are you in? Yeah, what school do you attend? I go to Westford Elementary. Westford Elementary, okay. Now, how did you hear about the St. Baldrick's uh, head shaving event? Well, <clears throat> we do this thing at school every year where kids can shave their head at an assembly and donate the hair to cancer. Uh -huh. So I decided that it would be really fun for me to do that. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad that you decided to do that. I think that it's going to be a very good turnout for you. I hope you guys have a lot of fun. Do you, um, so you say you know other people who have done this before? Um, I do actually. Two kids that are in my class. Are they doing it with you this weekend or they've done it before? Um, they did it at the assembly. Oh, that, okay, that's cool. That's really cool. Now, what made you want to participate in the event this year? Well, I realize that <clears throat> hair doesn't really matter. It's just something that you have so I decided that I, I don't really need it I just <laughs> so that's really cool I give it to people who do need it that's right that's right that's really a great cause um, do you by any chance know anyone who's been diagnosed with cancer I do not okay well good for you hopefully we'll keep it that way and the, the money that you raise for awareness will make sure that you never meet anybody or run into anybody who has it ever again yeah um now, I know that you have your event coming up this weekend, and I was wondering, are you, are you a little bit excited about getting your hair cut? I'm really excited. <laughs> your hair is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Not for long. I, I, well, like you said, it will grow back. Hair is just hair. It will grow back. Um, how do you think that your donation will help children who've been diagnosed with cancer? I think what it does is it gives the money to the doctor so that they can do everything they can to help. That's right. That's right. Um, and my another question I have for you is why do you think that you in particular needed to raise, raise awareness for cancer? Why did you feel that you were compelled to do this? Well, I realize that it's, it's really hard to cure, so I'm going to try it as much as I can to help. Oh, that is so sweet of you. I appreciate that. My last question for you would be, how many donations do you hope to raise by attending this event? I hope to raise $10,000. <gasps> wow, that's a, quite a feat. I think, you know what, Charlie, I think you can do it. $10,000? Yeah, I, I, I think I can actually go past it. I believe you can. How much do you have so far? So far, I have <clears throat> 2700 and. Wow, that's awesome. You know what? I think that we can get you to to exceed $10,000. I think we can do it. I hope. I know you will. Oh, you know, it was really a pleasure speaking with you. I really appreciate you taking the time to, you know, spend with me and share your 
your reasonings for wanting to participate in this goal and raise awareness for childhood cancer research. Again, I want to thank you for your time. And, you know, you're really an inspiration to me and so many other people in your community. I just want you to know that. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you have a great time at your event on Sunday, okay? You too. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye. All right, bye-bye. She's a little timid and, and nervous about being on, uh, on a video at first, but... Uh... As you can see, she did just fine. She did beautifully. She did beautifully. Wow. She was very awesome. I really appreciate it. Yep, not a problem. All right. We appreciate you helping out. You're I've provided a link to Charlie's donations page if you'd like to make a contribution towards this cause. Please help this brave young girl exceed her donations, no matter how big or how small. Remember, if we want a better future, we have to make a difference today. I want to thank you all for joining us. Again, my name is Jerry Jacobs, and I hope you all have a great evening.